by increasing the density, so the uh, compute power in one uh, big tank or a smaller tank, you can actually increase the compute power density by a factor of 10. Now, I can understand that some of you will say, okay, but that's in the ultimate situation that you are running full power, etc., etc. Um, so let's assume you only take a 5x uh, higher density. You still have a huge of your compute power, which will, in the end, reflect to your uh, um, total cost of ownership. So if we look at the overall square meters you need to build a immersion cooled data center, you need a less space. So a air cooled environment compared to a immersion cooled environment has a delta of about a factor 10. So you need 10 times less space for a immersion cooled environment versus a air cooled environment. It gives you the opportunity to either increase your amount of kilowatts per square meters um, sold or you decrease your infrastructure cost by utilizing a smaller building for the same amount of compute power. The business case will dramatically improve by using immersion cooling. Your OPEX cost will go down, your compute density goes up, your CAPEX investment goes down, your hardware lifespan goes up and your hardware failure rate goes down. So overall, a lot of very good improvements to the business case. So your total cost of ownership will go down and your return on investment will go up.